Hi Capricorn, welcome to your singles reading for January. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So Capricorn, this is intended for singles. So you do have to be in, uh, single in some way. I mean, you could be separated from somebody or on a breakup or something like that, but you do have to be single. If you feel like you have a connection with somebody, whether you're together or not. I also do a love connection reading. So you may want to watch that. That may resonate for you also. So you can check the description box below. Um, your playlists are down there. So if you'd like to watch past readings, you're more than welcome to do that. Go find the love playlist. Look for the December uh, singles reading or just look for your singles readings or your connection, re love connection readings, whatever here. Um, I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you do want to go back and watch past readings, you're more than welcome. And those playlists are below as well as social media, decks I'm using, how to reach out for personal reading. That's all below the description box. So please feel free to check that out. All right, and thank you, and welcome everyone. I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas and Happy New Year. All right, so this is a Zodiac Oracle. So what we're going to do is we're going to get uh, two energies. I'm going to say, you know, pick an energy, pick a side. I'll describe as I go through how I'm doing the reading. But we're going to uh, look at two energies, how they are separately, how they will come together. And once the energies come together, what that energy will be like. So if you have watched my past singles reading for December or November. This is a new layout, a new style. So please let me know in the comments which one you prefer, or I can do both. The other one was more like how you will meet this person, when, where, how, and all that kind of energy. This is more like two energies, how they come together and how that plays out. So they're kind of similar, but uh, let me know in the comments which one you prefer better, or if you like both, I can do both. So, okay, I guess that's one sign. So the first thing we're going to do is pull, so we got water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and Aquarius. So we have water and air, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and air with Aquarius. So the two main energies coming out. So water is very fluid. It's healing. It's going with the flow. It's about emotions and feelings. It can be about love. It's... Uh, just uh, really good energy, so intuitive energy. Um, I believe it's feminine energy. It doesn't have to be, though. So, all right, so let's see. All right, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then we have Aquarius. So, let's see. But, I mean, they could literally be anybody, or they just could have heavy water in their chart, or Aquarius in their chart. I mean, their sun sign can be one sign. And then they may have like Aquarius and five placements and only have that one sun sign in their chart. That does happen. So, okay. Because I know people who are a fire sign and they're predominantly water in their charts. So, okay. Capricorn, you are Earth. What I'm going to do here now, Capricorn, is get a main energy to open this up. And this, wow. Okay. <laughs> This could be you, this could be uh, this person, whether you know them or not. Uh, it could be a mutual energy in the future. Uh, it could be their energy. So, okay, those big clump went flying. Okay, there we go. All right, so we have nine of hearts, fulfillment, harmony, protection, 73. 10, 10 so about endings, and then that's one, a new beginning. So this is like the nine of hearts energy to me. It's like the nine of cups energy and that's that water energy. You know, it was about happiness and joy, fulfillment, uh, wishes and dreams coming true in every single way. So, wow, somebody's in a good energy, whether it's you or this un incoming person or the person you know or a mutual energy. I mean, if you're sort of dating um, and you're not um, inclusive, I guess you could say you're still single. If you're kind of inclusive in your dating, then I'm, I don't know, I wouldn't consider that single. You might want to watch the um, Love Connection readings. So let's see here. I'm going to put an energy here and an energy here on each side. And if you resonate with one side, then I guess you could say that's your side. And uh, the other side could be this possible person coming in, or like I said, somebody you know, however it resonates with you. So on this side here, we have Hidden Path. The marriage of spirit and matter. And 34 is 7. 7 is a very um, divinely guided spiritual number. means a lot of different things in the tarot, but 
And then on this side, we have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. And 21 is three is about, you know, coming together, working together, celebrating, reuniting, teamwork, collaboration kind of energy. Hmm. I feel like this side is like divinely connected to source, to their inner truth, to who they are. And they're like going on the right path. They are on the right, right path and they feel very fulfilled at this time. And I feel like this side over here is remembering this Nine of Cups energy they once had. May not be connected with you. It could have been something, uh, an, a connection or relationship they had in the past. And remembering maybe it was very fulfilling. Maybe some reason it came to an end. But we're going to pull tarot around all this, so we'll see. So on the bottom here, we have yin and yang, creating harmony through balance. 40, which is four, stability, foundation, the basis, um, balance and stability. So I feel like this, this energy on this side is very stable and balanced. They feel like they're on the right path. They're happy. Um, they're in a good place. I feel like this side maybe was balanced at one time, maybe not so much right now. I think they're trying to find their balance, trying to get like peace and harmony and fulfillment back into their life in some way. But I think memories of the past keep resurfacing for them, kind of holding them back kind of energy. So let's pull some. They feel like they need to go with the flow with that water energy. I think because you see them sitting in water. So it's like they're thinking back on past feelings and emotions and not letting it just pass through and just going and moving forward with the flow. I think they're stuck, stuck in like a backflow <laughs> in a way, instead of moving forward. Oh, okay. So let's get some energy around this side, around this hidden path. It could, you know, again, pick a side, whatever side you feel like you resonate with. Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person here, there's that air energy uh, over there with the Aquarius, but this could be, you know, just thinking clearly and knowing and having uh, just that hidden truth within yourself that you are on the right path. Having all that clarity within yourself. And that always reminds me of divine energy and being like divinely connected to source and just knowing just knowing you know where you're going what you're doing six of cups energy so um you know that's the past thinking of the past nostalgia reminiscing kind of energy um old childhood friends family you know going back home maybe the hidden path on this side was going back home the tower so it could be a surprise. It doesn't have to be bad. It can be a surprise. It could be a shakeup. It could be something about crumbling, something crumbling down. Maybe you returned back home and you didn't tell anybody. And it was a surprise to everybody that you came back home and you're like, oh, I'm moving back home. Like you went for a surprise and they, you know, they thought, oh, it's a surprise visit. And you're like, no, guess what? I'm moving back. And it, everybody was like just in shock. I mean, it also can be that kind of thing. It can be about having a big realization epiphany like you know what i think i need to move back home i mean that may not resonate with everybody but all right so let's get some energy around this side here the sun yeah i think they're stuck in this past energy of feeling you know the happiness and joy and feelings and emotions they felt in something that was at a you know a very happy time in their life it could have been you know like a relationship they had where they, it wasn't quite at the 10 of cups. It was at the nine. So, you know, wasn't quite to the 10. But, you know, it's still like stuck in thinking back about, you know, the happy times and that uh, connection. Kind of like just being stuck. Like, why didn't it get to the 10? It got to the nine, but it didn't get to the 10. Yeah, and as I say that, the hangman, it just kind of went in a stalemate. It kind of went in the, on a pause, a break or something here. It just kind of got stuck at nine and didn't go to 10 with the hangman. Exactly what I just said. Wow. So this is something major the side went through. So far, they got two major arcana. This one only has one. Um, king of Swords. So now we got the King and Queen of Swords here. Wow. Queen on that side, King on this side. Matching couple. Soulmate energy. So I feel like this side here 
I, I feel like maybe they're seeing with, you know, truth and clarity now. You know, maybe... I feel like this side is always transforming, moving forward, down a path. This side, I feel like they're, like... Like, they know what they need to do. They need to unstick themselves. I feel like they're, they're also stuck. And because the sword is down, so it's, like, kind of stuck. This side, the sword is up, so that... Not afraid to use that sword. Moving forward, this one... Sword is down and like stuck. So they're kind of like stuck in an energy here. All right, let's get more, more energy here. I think they're gaining. Um, I think divine energy is trying to show them also, trying to unstick them, but they just can't seem to, you know, get that sword to lift no matter how hard they try. Because you see, um, wow, over here, a lot of more brightness around the queen where this king has a little more dark energy. King, queen doesn't matter. Male, female doesn't matter. But over here we have the empress. So yeah, this, this person over here is in a good place. And I felt that with the empress. They know their value, their worth. Emperor, empress doesn't matter. You know, birth of new things. Um, I mean, this woman is pregnant, but I don't know what that means. You just have a child over here. So maybe there was an unexpected pregnancy here and somebody moved back home because they felt like that was the best thing to do. I'm not feeling like it's connected to this person, although the son over here um, does have a child in it. So I'm getting like two storylines. So some of you could have been connected to this person. There was an unexpected pre pregnancy, which put a pause, like a halt on this. Like it was at the nine, now it's preventing it from going to the 10 I feel like it really got this person stuck maybe they weren't expecting that and that's a surprise there or some of you um maybe you're just moving back home to start over um down a new path and you're in a good place it doesn't necessarily mean you're pregnant it could just be the birth of something new and you just felt very divinely guided to start over and fresh maybe back home and feeling just really good about yourself so, but then we have temperance here on this side, which is needing to balance energies out. So I do feel like this side is kind of, they got three major arcana. So, although there's two over here, but um, this side really needs to transform, balance their energies out. For some, some of you here, if there was like a breakup or a pause or a halt on a situation because there was an unexpected pregnancy, maybe one wasn't wanting that or not just right now, and maybe things kind of broke apart um this side's trying to balance their energy but i feel like they're still stuck this side here um they're, they're just moving forward i feel like they're they're in they're in a good place on this side whether you know you found out you were unexpectedly pregnant or not are you just moving back home to start over i feel like this this side is fine this side is stuck okay and if you don't know this person, um, this possible person you could meet is kind of stuck in an energy, trying to balance themselves out. I feel like they're stuck in memories of the past. All right, so let's see how this energy will come together, come together. Or it could be if you move back home, whether you're pregnant or not, you can meet this person when you move back home. Um, the magician, so... <laughs> So this is manifesting a brand new beginning. So, and this could move forward very quickly. The magician is uh, Gemini and Virgo. So I mean, for like when this could come together, it could be um, Virgo season just went by, which was the end of August into September. And Gemini is the end of, may into june so so i don't know i feel like i need to clarify uh the magician let's clarify see if we can get more definite maybe like a season for this energy okay that gave me two i just want one okay ten of pentacles so that's fall so i mean you could have just met this person this past fall or it may not be till next fall but the ten of pentacles is uh if this is someone that you're connected with and you broke up you're on a break because there's an unexpected pregnancy here or something unexpected with that temp with that empress being 
pregnant and kind of split this apart, things this could have the opportunity to manifest back together come next fall. Because a magician is about manifesting things forward in the beginning. The Ten of Pentacles is coming back together. That's like the marriage card. Um, I know sharing everything together. And that's like a long-term partner. So let's get more energy around this. And, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is about home. So for some of you that manifest a new beginning moving back home, um, maybe, you, you know, you made the, made the plans this past fall and now you're making those moves now or maybe after the holidays. And maybe you may meet this person uh, come uh, Gemini season, which is the end of May into June. All right, so it really isn't that far away, I guess. So let's get more energy here. So we got Justice. Wow. We have Ace of Wands. Is that fiery, passionate, new beginning? Five of Cups, though. Sadness, loss, and hurt. I feel like this stuck. This side is stuck in sadness, loss, and hurt of the past. Wow. But the potential here is for a fiery, passionate, new beginning here. Exciting. Justice here. Somebody's either going to step up to the plate and do what's moral, just, and right. If there was a situation here involving a pregnancy and you split up, you've been apart for a while, Some will bring, someone will bring justice. You want justice is kind of on your side. So, or on this side, whatever here, wanting justice, wanting the passionate new beginning. This other side feeling sadness, lonely, and hurt, but the new beginning is right there in the middle. Justice will prevail. Uh, Truth's coming out, balancing the scales, doing what's right, moral, just, and right with the justice card. So somebody will step up to the plate, I feel, for a passionate new beginning. If there was a child involved, if there was a breakup or a separation. Um, this side, if not, I felt moved back home. Just want justice in their life in a good place and manifesting things coming forward. And I feel like by springtime, there could be this uh, passionate new beginning. And by fall, you could be really serious with this person. Three of Swords. So we got heartache and pain here with the Three of Swords. Hmm. In the Page of Wands, it's good news coming in. So, you know, Swords is winter time. Um, wands is spring. So we got hurt here. So to, I don't know, let's get another energy here. See what's going on with this. But then we have coming back together. So we have two threes here. So I don't know if there's a third party involved kind of energy. I didn't get that feeling here, but if there was, uh, but the three of cups to me is always about celebrating, reuniting, coming back together kind of energy good news coming in with the page of wands three of swords though is hurt i feel like this side here is hurt could have felt hurt over something that's why maybe you move back home to start fresh start new and you meet this person when you move back home um i think they're stuck in energy of the past if that's your case um uh, but the potential is here for a fiery passionate new beginning and news coming in, good news coming in. So this person may get out of this energy, meet you and feel like, okay, I'm ready for a new beginning here and coming, you know, Hey, let's go out. Let's have a drink. Let's have a good time. Celebrating, reuniting, just hanging out, see how it goes for others of you. If this was a third party, um, we do have good news coming in and justice. So I think this person will step up to the plate, eventually do its moral, just and right and uh, send you some sort of good news about a new beginning because they feel sad, lonely heart. So kind of two storylines. So I don't know why I'm shuffling, but let's get another energy. Four of Wands. Wow. This could be this could be marriage. Some could be offering marriage or I feel like by spring, this person, if you meet, if you move, move back home and you meet them, uh, in the springtime, I feel like <laughs> maybe asking you out in the springtime, or you may meet them in the springtime. And I feel like around your home, again, four wands is about the home basis, foundations, you know, ceremonies, people committing together. You know, this has the potential by, um, like summer fall energy, like really picking up and solidifying here. So I don't know. However, these energies resonate for you so 
down here with the Knight of, Wands, Knight of Wands. So moving forward, a lot of drive, passion, ambition kind of energy. Could have been a player in and out energy here. Holding back from the situation in that Knight energy. But now they're coming in as the King of Wands. Fiery, passionate energy. And now they want to uh, be a King, not a Knight. A brand new beginning in love here with the Ace of Cups. Wow. They see that you're putting a wall up, putting a guard up. Now choosing soulmate union here with the lover's energy after being in hermit energy for a while maybe even walked away with the eight of cups went, went into hermit mode seen the light and now cho choosing a lover here now seeing you know my person's got their wall up the, their guard up or they did but now they're wanting a brand new beginning in love tired of holding back and now taking that fiery action movement forward so this is someone you already know. I do see connection coming back together, possible possible marriage here. Or somebody that you don't know comes in and it could go through all this energy of holding back, withdrawing, not sure, but then deciding to come back together. You know, hey, let's go out, let's hang out, see where it goes. And then I do see the potential here of this committing uh, to maybe exclusively dating even by uh, spring into summer, getting more serious there on after. So what I want to do with this deck here... Um, Capricorn, let's get some closing messages with this. I do ask Capricorn if you like how I read to please do a uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. I'd love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you won't miss out. Right now I'm doing four different readings a month, though I may change that. I do a singles like this. I do a love connection. I do a general and I do a um, spirit reading, like messages from spirit or your angels or something like that. And I just started a weekly element energy reading uh love life and advice but based on views and how popular they are i may just um stop doing some of those and just concentrate on bi-weekly love readings so but if you are interested you can always check out my channel and if you like what you see subscribe and if you do thank you thank you all right so let's get some closing messages and if i don't know if i thanked everybody for all the support Thank you so much. If you tip, donated, sent a gift, uh, reached out for personal reading, uh, just subscribe. Thank you. Thank you so much. So let's get a message here for you. Closing this out, Capricorn. And we have listening. 23 is 5. So I feel like whether this is an old connection or a new connection, something's going to have to change in the situation and really listening to one another, listening to your inner guidance, your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. And really uh, listening to one another is what I'm getting. Now on the bottom of the deck here, we have High Priestess of Water. So we got water coming through again here. Four, stability foundation, the basis of things here. So I feel like here, water again with that emotions, feelings, uh, healing energy, going with the flow, um, feminine energy, intuition kind of energy also. Wow, so this does have so a lot of two different energies. So I guess you take whatever energy may resonate for you. Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Well, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.